How do we begin to talk about the experience we just had? Ignoring the fact that many of you have already watched us tell this story for almost five hours. Even after a lengthy stream, I'm getting asked what it was like going to my first fan fest. I found myself with a lot of footage after Vegas. I pointed my phone at Kyle and myself a ton. And as I sit here reviewing what can only be described as a 110 degree fever dream, I realize that while sleep deprivation was a real challenge, that despite that exhaustion, and regardless of how many other cons I have been to, that the experience I just had at FanFest will be something I'm gonna tell my grandchildren. Wait, what? You don't have any kids? What's going on in here? Okay, fine. Something I'll tell my nieces and nephews about. <laughs> so what was it like going to our first fan fest? Well, let me show you. Uh, hey. Well, Kyle? Yes, Derek. Let's rock. <laughs> By the magic of time zones, Katie and I spent our first day awake for just past 24 hours. Our flight was mega early. It's 5.45 a.m. and we're running through the Tampa airport. It's been <laughs> at least two hours? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. It's currently 6.30. And we're in the illustrious Tampa airport. Oh, yes. Behold its majesty. My first impression of Vegas was, oh f why did I wear pants? Followed by, hmm, that's a lot of construction. And when we finally got to our hotel, my next impression was, oh f why did I pack additional pants? Oh, so we're, we're out here, we got, we got our goodie bags. We just walked outside for way too long, given the fact that that's the temperature right now. No. No, too hot, even for this Florida boy. So Katie and I did what any Floridians would do in the face of such oppressive heat. The fan fest. <laughs> Your finest $10 beer. We hit the pool. How Floridians kick off fan fest. <laughs> Now, going to registration and getting your wristband for FanFest was really pleasant. I've been to a lot of cons, and any time that the line for registration takes place completely indoors, I'm happy. I had no idea there was a chance for a ticket in our swag bags that would, you know, give us a chance for an autograph for a photo with some of the Final Fantasy XIV dev team. All right, so we got it. I wasn't so lucky. Oh, I don't think so. Nope, no dice. Katie, however. Hang on, check, check this one. Okay. Yo! Oh, hell yeah. We get to meet Sokin and Koji, yeah! Oh, that rules. Kyle got in a little later than we did, so after what would have already been a full day for us, it was time to go and see my best friend for the first time in five years. About to head down to the lobby and see Kyle for the first time since 2018. Exactly how I saw this going. By the way, this is a video. Oh, then I'll stop smiling all. <laughs> doing nothing else. Now, we had the best dinner I have ever had in my life, full stop, at this place called Sparrow and Wolf. Thank you, Chris, for taking us to this place. Uh, this meal was a life changing experience. And uh, then we had the most just okay 
tiki drinks that I've ever had at a place called Frankie's. The vibes are great though. And in this bar's defense, these would end up being the cheapest drinks we'd have the entire time we were in Vegas. And with day zero wrapped, we all just passed the fuck out and headed on to line hell. I mean, fan fest day one. <laughs> Here's what happened. Kyle and I talked ourselves into trying to go to the opening ceremony. We were sitting there having a chat and we were thinking about how we just watched the Endwalker trailer and we still have no idea where Endwalker is going to take us. So we talked ourselves into it. We figured we'd go. We'd watch some vague trailer that wasn't even the entire trailer. And then, you know, we would just run real fast if things started to get too spoilery. But we thought we were going to try and get in early. Uh, the line's very long. I complete registration. He did. He did. He was he was a late queuer. The registers the, complimented the, my shirts. Registration extreme, we want to go this way. And what a line it is. It goes, it, it's trying to avoid the sun. The sun is climbing and the shadow's creeping on it. Yeah. And, and that's not even the right hall. That's like the south hall? Yeah, that's the south, the north. Yeah. And it's then a, it angles a, in to the parking structure. Yeah, the entrance is about a quarter mile that way, and this line is like five lines deep. It just keeps snaking on itself. It's insane. I'm just going to get more coffee and wait till the line is gone. After watching the graphics update and the Xbox portion of the opening ceremony from Katie and my hotel room, uh, we decided to try getting into FanFest again, and it was a delightfully brief experience. Going to go to FanFest? Yep. Ah. Wow, that was a loud noise. Let's try it again. Re-engage. This time, with no line that we can see from here anyway. Almost there. We almost did it. We're almost there, Kyle. Weaving through the shadows. It's behind, getting framed. Doing the mechanics. Doing it. We got in, became immediately confused by the Endwalker Zone theming of the mini games. I have no idea what any of this shit is. <laughs> hey, we, we got the moon! We got the, they got the moon. moon! It's there! It's there, Kyle. The moon is there. You want to eat the moon, Kyle? It looks delicious. I don't know what this is. We don't know where we are. And I was off to go meet Soken and Koji. Kyle, what did you do while I was off meeting two of the coolest people on Earth? I set up camp in Raz something. Some sort of Endwalker area. Had nice pillows, nice chairs and hung out with people. So I got to meet Sokin and Koji, and everyone keeps asking, no, 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 they, they did not. They did not recognize me. Uh, but they were great, awesome. Uh, it was very cool. They even had a translator there for uh, Sokin, which I wasn't expecting. Um, I did meet a very lovely member from the Japan team after, though. They were up there helping coordinate all of the autographs and see people on their way, but they stopped me to tell me that they're a big fan of the channel and that they can't wait for us to start playing Ed Walker. And I uh, just want to say thanks again. It meant a lot to know someone on the team is a fan of the channel. So about that next media tour. And right around the time I got back to Kyle and Katie, this happened. As I have mentioned several times before, there are major spoilers for the Endwalker expansion story. So please keep that in mind. Cover your ears. They're doing the Endwalker panel. Get out. Get out! Oh, oh my god. Oh. We did the thing where we said bye and oh. then we all went the same direction. Oh god. All right. We made it out in time. Oh. We, barely escaped. We, we barely escaped the spoilers. Oh my god. Run for it. Run, Kyle. I came back at the very tail end of the cosplay walk and met a bunch of folks from our community. We caught the very beginning of the piano performance. I had an emotional experience because my favorite track, Neath the Dark Waters, was first. And then we headed out for some big fat tacos before the Grinding Gear meetup that night. Why are tacos on our brain? Why would this happen? Why would this ever happen? How weird. Yeah, I also kind of want to pet my cat. Interesting. Yeah, while eating a taco. With some nice and heavy food in our bellies, it was time to head over to our community meetup. Yes! yes. Alright. Let's go! Woo! 
Now, my personal journey through Final Fantasy XIV is extremely well documented. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I feel I got just about every sales pitch possible for this game. But one of the major selling points I heard time and time again was just about the quality and the kindness of the Final Fantasy XIV community. Now, I can't speak for every corner of the Final Fantasy XIV community at large, but I can say without a doubt that our little corner of the community is full of the most emotionally available adults I've seen since attending the My Chemical Romance reunion tour. We had our meet at the Player One video game bar and friends, we packed it. It was insane. It was actually insane. Thank goodness it was a video game bar, so people could play video games while they waited in line to meet us. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. Oh, and Jesse stopped by, and yes, we made good on his previous request. I love Xenos Eats the Moon. I am. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I may show up at FanFest in a custom-made shirt. What is happening? Hello. Hello. I want you to know that yes! I have planned for this. That's the shirt design. Let's go. <laughs> we got Zeno oh, Pizza Moon, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so proud. <laughs> as as John Wienerman, aka Zeno's. <laughs> I'm so proud of this shirt. Too. Thank you so much. Thank you. This means a little bit. Thank you guys. I'm glad you're having a good time. I, for those who don't know, this line is ludicrous. And the worst part is, I know exactly what they're going through. And I want to let you know, enjoy being here another few hours. Suckers! <laughs> now, we did meetups when we were covering Blizzard games. Uh, you know, Kyle and I used to cover Heroes. I used to cover Hearthstone. Uh, but we never experienced anything like this. We took so many photos and we signed so many things. I, I don't I don't have the words to express how, how, how thankful we are. I mean, ab about two years ago, I thought that I wouldn't be making content anymore. Things looked like they were very much on the downslope. And now I'm here, standing still for over four hours because so many of you just wanted to say hi. It means so much. So, thank you. We do these streams in front of a thousand up to five thousand people depending on msq but it doesn't always feel very real you're sitting in a room by yourself in front of a camera computer turns off everybody's gone it was insane to meet you all you guys made it so real uh this journey we're on and And so many of you, like, gave us your stickers and and signed my book. You all like, you signed our free company book that we had there in person. Like, it was crazy. It was actually absurd. Uh, Kyle? Yes? Uh, it's... Uh, what time 2 a.m. It? 2 a.m. Uh, we stood for four hours plus straight. <laughs> five? It wasn't nine? Um, um, well, this is five, but we... Nine to... Yes. Nine to one. Right. Anyway, um, we're ending our meetup. Uh, it was we're extremely overwhelmed. Uh, so thanks to everybody that came out. And uh, sorry, there's no video. We had to say hi to so many of you. So thank, thank you. you. It means the world. Uh, on to day two. Fanfest day two began with the live letter from the producer, which meant I couldn't wait to sleep until noon. Sweet, merciful spoilers. I was able to sleep off my jet lag. I uh, did not sleep in because I was gifted a golden ticket to meet Koji and Ishikawa. Right? Like, it, apparently they both got tickets, so they thought, well, why not give one to me? Uh, so I got up at 
8 a.m. to make that signing where I foolishly oh, focus I get it where I attempted to thank them for making a wonderful community and uh, having such an awesome community to stream to but I said I streamed the game and they were very insistent that they thank me more than I could thank them. So I got in a thanking war with Koji and Ishikawa and it was, the thank yous are being translated and translated back to me that they were thanking me for streaming. But I wanted to thank them for making the game in the community and I left uh, having lost that battle. They out thanked me more than I could thank them. I don't have a lot to say about day two. It was it was it was just plain fun. When we'd go to BlizzCon, we were there as media guests. This meant a lot of our time would get eaten up by interviewing the devs or hiding in the press room to prep our next podcast. But I don't think you could get media credentials for FanFest. If, if you could, I couldn't find it anywhere. No other creators that I'm aware of had media credentials. So with, with no media credentials at FanFest, we just got to run around and be fans, which is something I haven't gotten to do at a BlizzCon since my very first one. So I spent most of day two just running around, seeing the sights and getting photos with cosplayers. We got to watch our first ever competitive Final Fantasy XIV event, the Crystalline Conflict Regionals. And it's still at that like grassroots stage where it's just passion. There's not a ridiculous amount of money. It's, there's not like some battle pass thing tied in. It was just people and Yoshi P loving the PVP for Final Fantasy XIV and all the grassroots quaintness that you would hope for in an esports. Guys named John Dark Souls versus NBA Superstar. The presenter fumbling over their words as they organize their various sponsors. Before we start, we wanted to give a shout out to our sponsors today. So, big, big thank you so much to. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much to. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry about that. Thank you so much to I Buy Power for their amazing. It was so perfectly 2013 esports. We were there for the game, not the Tostitos and the Mountain Dews and everything else that went with it. The game was celebrated. And it was great hanging out with y'all while I was watching those games. Having woken up early to get his autographs, Kyle crashed hard, so Katie and I went on a quiet walk together around the show floor. We'd been wanting to get a selfie on this cool-ass dance floor that I guess is from his own that I will see at some point. And as the day was already getting late, the floor was finally clear. And while we were stoked to get the photo op that we'd been waiting for, little did we know that the rare spawn of all photo ops was going to manifest right next to us. Uh, so, Yoshi P is trying to leave. Uh, he's been awesome. I think he was actually able to leave. I think he was able to leave, yeah. So, we just wanted, we were hanging out. We wanted to just kind of get away. We wanted to see the dance floor behind us. We were back here taking some pictures. We turn around, Yoshi P is doing a surprise photo session. And we got it. Uh, well, they, they capped the line once. He tried to walk away, and then... And then he decided to stay a little longer and do a whole nother round of photos and we got in and holy sh fan fest is magic. Uh, shout out to the devs. They're super kind. Now, Kyle sadly showed up just after Yoshi P left, uh, but uh, you were uh, you were in a good mental spot about it, dude. Butterfly effect, man. If I was there, you wouldn't have gotten up at that moment to go on the walk with Katie that caused you to be in the back of the room where Yoshi P emerged by the cosplayers and started taking pictures where you got the picture. I would have ruined it if I was there. It wouldn't have happened. I'm happy for you. Look at this man's face. Look at this man. Look, look at this man. Look at this man's face who said he wouldn't play Final Fantasy. Does this man look happy? I think this man looks very happy. We were to the final event, the primals. People are standing, which means it's time. It is. Let's go. Now, we don't have any clips of the primals to share here. They're very specific about requesting that no one take video of the primals during the concert, and it appears that they didn't broadcast it. All I can say is it is the perfect way to end FanFest. Not only 
the fans, the attendees getting to geek out on their devs, which have transcended into rock stars before their very eyes, the power of dev faith primalizing them. And as they ascend, Koji going from the nerd, I, I shook his hand upstairs. He was cool. He was, he was chill, but he um, just exploded into a rock star before everyone's eyes rocked the room with Scream. What Scream? Where, where's Scream from? When, when will I get to see Scream? That was amazing. Scream is amazing. When, when is that? Where is that? Did, Don't tell me. But that was awesome. It was amazing. The singers of the songs, the artists getting celebrated in a live environment. They do video game tracks. These devs are behind computer screens, hidden from the world. Soaking, actually playing the trumpet, throwing down. There is no healthier, more amazing, more high energy exchange of energies that could have happened at the end of a fabulous con. The primals are worth the cost of admission alone. The fact that there's this many quality panels, esports, side activities, and truly wholesome in-person meetings, it, it makes FanFest my personal favorite convention that I've been to. Am I biased because our community showed up? Maybe. Y'all were insane and amazing, and I'm still getting warm fuzzies just thinking about it. But FanFest and the Final Fantasy XIV community delivered. We're home now. The normal day-to-day -day of streaming and producing videos has resumed. And after so much traveling, I'm happy to be back. But I cannot wait until we all get to hang again. And I'm really going to miss hanging out with my buddy. Yeah. Let's do it again. Dude. I, that was awesome. I don't know how to put this into words. Like, I'm thinking about, like, we got to make videos about this, and I you don't. I, I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth when we sit down to talk about this. You start a band. That's what you do with that energy. <laughs> you just go. You just, you get a trumpet, and you just rock. Kyle, can we get you to, like, learn a guitar or a bass? Like, I would love to. <laughs> I would I, love that. Uh, I know that there are were a lot of you that were worried about us attending the Primals concert for spoiler reasons, and listen, I, I, I get it, <laughs> but this was for us, and and to all of you that care enough to be worried about that kind of stuff, I just want to say thank you for yeah. letting us have this.